copy, I pass the transom. Hey Robert, when available, can I get Ethernet and Triclops? Please? Yeah. Goalposts there. Copy that. All tethers out. We got a uh, we got a bit of a ground fault. And not mission critical here. But a bit of a ground fault. Not I don't know what it is. I mean, it's going to take a while to troubleshoot it, but it's not. It's a meg. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. John, are you talking? Is it working? Camera's working? Can you do a power cycle, please? Do you want uh, just the camera or the whole shebang? Just the cameras. Uh, give it a 15 second, please. <laughs> are we on Ethernet or Ethernet B? Can you go get Rachel, please? Tell her to come up immediately. All right, turn it back on. Copy. Okay. Cyclops is uh, good to go. All right. Control, back deck. We have Atalanta in the water. The Atalanta in the water. All right, so they're heading down so you can start driving down. I just give it a little bit of forward stick, maybe, you know, 20% or something. So you can change this RPM bizwax. You can hit that and you can go pounds or you can go percentage, whatever your flavor is. And then we're going to switch sure over to dive mode on the salvo. <coughs> oh, so there we go. They've got a question for you too. Okay, so we're stretched out straight. I'm gonna zero wraps. Zero tether wraps. All right, thank you. Um. Uh, 
I thought we had lost, uh, I thought we had stroked by the drone. Oh, so switch your, switch this over to ROV pilot light. Yeah, there you go. So that your delta is the minus two right now. Yeah, go for it. So we're running with porch out, right? Jonathan? Yes, sir. Porch out? Yep. Porch out. I can get it. There you go. That's Triclops? No, top left is uh, Argus. Control, back deck, oh, all stop at right. five zero meters, turning over control to you. Control van copies. They have an active light. Robert, we're going to stop at 50, you said? To uh, check. We're at 50 right okay. now, yeah. And any change in that ground fault? or? Uh, it's bouncing around the mag. I'm just, we'll and live with that. What's That's your fine. threshold when it becomes concerning? Uh, I don't like a mag, but we often live with it okay. with less than that. So like 100K would be where I'd be worried. So, yeah. Okay, thank you. We, it, it takes time to figure out what it is because I have to turn everything off one at a time and and see. Yeah. You know, and it can be a combination of multiple things that just add up to a meg. Are well, you going through that now, the ons and offs? Uh, no, not right. Okay. I'm, sometimes things just seal at depth. Okay. It's a, it <laughs> is a, it's a legit thing yeah, is yeah, that yeah. the connectors see and they seal and grounds get better so <laughs> right. I'm not worried yet <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right we're heading down Jonathan copies so if you go to the utility page again you can see how fast you're going so I'll give you the vertical velocity we usually oh, negative, I mean so might be you can just give it the beans down and you can you can do it with Z bias if you just dial in Z bias EO and uh, yeah like seventy percent or something Z bias yeah that's and that might put us like okay, twenty seven meters a minute up, or something sir. you can see you want it yeah the down bias so the way to tell if because it if you can't think about it is so you're driving down so that you want red bars down towards the bottom right. So just dial in the Z bias so it goes that direction, 70%, which is a positive number, yeah. Press your button, I don't care. Not very exciting, Dan. <laughs> yeah. Roger. Okay, so I'm giving it. Yeah. Yeah, just give it. Yeah, give it full beans because yeah. I'm ahead of you. I'll slow down. We're only going to 500, right? What's the depth? It's written on the board up there. What is that, 650? 
615. Jonathan uh, video. So then you can look at, okay, uh, just look for the light center uh, screen on the two now. butt cams, right? I don't want to complicate this any further. Thank you, sir. You can also see it in the sonar yeah. if you're we'll do, at the we'll right, do that later. you know, you. you see the range. All right, I'm speeding up. So it's pretty benign terrain, it looks like. Those are probably, are those, those 10 meter, yeah. Okay. Taylor Ann, are Hurricane Atalanta still coming up black on your end too? Okay. Like how much off, like a couple degrees or something? So it's probably a magnetic offset that's in the... Yeah. It's in the, it's in the any file. Yeah. Uh, do you monkey with any file at all?
Ja. Yeah. We only have, yeah, well, we have one GUI. I can look at it. <laughs> I, I don't want to do it during the... <laughs> Screen captures are up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh. Well, it's better than it used to be. <laughs> like, not at all. So you just hit the, the bottom depth button there. Can you, someone touched so that computer. Can you go, clear. that's currently Triclops. 615. Can you get the OBS screen back up? Yep. And then maybe uh, log, maybe log that out so they can't touch it or. Oh, like just take it out this Yeah, someone accidentally hit something. Yeah, that's kind of important. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just oh, look, winter maintenance is coming up. <laughs> Queen, you're on SPL right now, so you're going off or live over the in internet. Yeah, you do have to, so I mean, you got to be careful because sometimes Grafana can, yeah, it'll stop updating and you won't notice it. Uh, <laughs> and it's not, it's very suboptimal there with the, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plan says we're going to about 616 meters and we're at 271, so we're almost halfway there. Yeah, that's dry clocks. That's what this is all about, right there. <laughs> <laughs> you can since they have Herc yeah. right there. Can you be ready to monitor the fetcher for files? Yeah, sure. I'll bring my laptop up and set up somewhere about here. Okay. We can get you a seat. Just grab, grab the little stool from right there.
think our viewers uh, are excited as we are. <laughs> so am I. There's a lot of folks in yeah. the control van right now, that's for sure. <laughs> Everyone's excited to see the new camera system we're testing out today. It's always a good sign when there are high fives. Questions will be available for this dive, but once we get um, situated in all our systems ago. Just looking across the stern. If you, if you end up doing a tow uh, somewhere, then you, that's critical to make sure the, the wire doesn't go under the ship. Can you ask so. Rachel to move the mouse? So that the <laughs> Just move it out of the way? Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe. Yes, I do. We'll, we'll talk. Tri -clops. Tri -clops. Can you... Apparently, we have a single laser. I, why do we only yeah. have one laser? I'm going to turn off the lasers. <laughs> the laser. <laughs> Rennie, are we in a pretty good place to kind of introduce what's going on and like just all get on the same sheet? Yeah, please. All right, so we're on our way to the bottom uh, here just south of Molokai. Um, we expect depth here 615 meters, and I thought. Maybe we'd start our first watch together on this leg with a uh, around the horn, just each station kind of reporting status, what's working, what's not, you know, things like video, what's going on on the satellite, any pertinent information just to level set across all of us. I know there's been a ton of activity. This is the first dive plus a, tons of new folks on the ship and everybody who's coming in just wanting to see uh, our first glimpse at the bottom. But Rennie, if you'd start us off. Sure thing. Uh, yeah, that was a, a great launch we just had there, like you said, with a lot of new personnel. Um, we're here currently at 383 meters and descending, um, just checking all our systems, getting uh, some new personnel trained up. Um, but as far as navigation goes, weather is great up top. Um, we expect to be on the bottom in just a few short minutes, seven minutes, um, and we'll pause at the bottom as we get um, as we get situated and then acquire the bottom, everything, uh, and get all our systems set up and going. Um, but other than that, uh, yes, all system, all nav systems are go. Cool. Simon? Oh, I'll put Simon here on SPL, so he's now <laughs> talking to the world. Yeah, talking to the world. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> what's going on, Simon? Yeah, Simon, what's the, R <laughs> what's the uh, ROV status? First time flying Hercules, so. Yeah. How's it going so far? Seems pretty good so far. Yeah, great. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I haven't heard anyone complaining yet. So. Yeah. <laughs> we'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> Dave's back in video. Dave's back in video. So, by the way, the ground did clear up and it's up to six meg now, so not Beautiful. a problem. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dave, over to you. What's, how are we doing in video? Uh, uh, video is good. Uh, what's, what's going out on the, what's going out on the satellites? Sorry, we've been troubleshooting a problem and my mind is uh, on that. And I'm just trying now to get it back into operations and catch up on my checklist. Uh, we have uh, the hurt. I can join in the conversation. Uh, the Herc HD camera going out on Sat One. We have the uh, Atalanta HD camera going out on uh, Sat Two, and a shot of all of us here in the van wearing our masks on Sat Three. What was the problem you're working on? Should we give them away? Uh, mm -hmm. A capture uh, problem. Okay. Taylor Ant's data. Uh, Taylor Ant's uh, still camera, uh, still capture application wasn't working right, and I had to go Thanks, check to see if the video was uh, enabled, and it was. Mm. How about the SCF seat? What's? Hi, my name is Daniela Griffey. I'm a teacher at Radford High School, and we have a couple people coming in. Simon just rode in, and we have Chris 
aka tuna kit fan also saying hi to us <laughs> all packed in here like sardines for this dive because everyone's excited great uh sitting next to me in the back row jonathan feely jonathan you're responsible for the the new wide field camera array we call it triclops you're on the ship can you give us like a status of the camera and maybe the first objectives that we'll be looking for? Yeah, so the wide field camera array is three new cameras that can you, uh, hear him? you can see okay. on ROV Hercules. Um, on the bench there in Hercules's view currently, you can see two of the three cameras. Those are 180 degree stereo pair. We'll be recording with both of those uh, throughout this dive. Uh, and this dive being primarily uh, a, a, a shakedown dive. So this is the first time we've used these cameras uh, on an operational expedition. So we're going through basic checks. You'll probably see that once we reach the bottom, we're gonna stay in one place for a while while we uh, run through some checklists, make sure that each one of these cameras is working as expected and um, go through, do some test recordings. Uh, whenever you put a new piece of equipment like this on an ROV or in any situation, it's good to be very methodical and slow about what you're doing. We'll be recording everything here in the back row with our wonderful data logging team um, so that we know every setting that we change uh, throughout this dive. Yeah, great. It's taken the contributions of every department associated with uh, Nautilus to get this camera just to be functioning here on this dive. So kudos to everybody for just getting us to this point where we can do these tests. Uh, last, Data, Taylor Ann, you wanna? Yeah, sure. Hi, I'm Taylor Ann. I'm the data manager, uh, science manager, um, and I'm sitting in the data logger seat. So I will be logging all observations uh, throughout the dive of settings that work and what don't, what doesn't work. Um, just to make sure that we're getting this uh, footage and everything is crystal clear. Um, yeah, so, so far everything is running well over here. We got our capture image issue fixed and everything cool. is good and going. So thank you. All right, for, so as always, operations takes precedence over any of the, the SPL related chatter. Um, but. Maybe Jonathan, what's our first expectations on the bottom when we get here? What, what's like the, are what do you envision for the first camera? Five two zero. Two zero I think our first camera okay. test, so once we, we see the bottom, is gonna be to hover at a standoff beams. distance of about Should one be, meter. Should um, be. Once Helps we achieve. find some vertical complex terrain. So complex terrain in this instance will mean that there's some verticality to it. It's like a nice rock, it's a cliffside. Because these are such a wide uh, view out of each camera, 180 degrees um, out of each one, uh, finding something that fills the frame uh, is going to be important. We're going to check critical focus, and then you'll see us do a bunch of changes to the lighting to see what lighting works best for different scenarios. But again, right as we hit the bottom, we're just going to hover for a while run through camera tests, write down and record all of the different variables that we test as we kind of dial these in for different operational scenarios. So normally on a dive, we're gonna go from waypoint to waypoint and there might be a kilometer or two kilometers of this path that the ROV is gonna follow. But for today's dive, we could be here for most of this four hour dive. Yeah, that's- If there's something to see. Yeah, yep. all right. 100%. Yeah. Uh, again, just taking it super slow yeah, okay. and methodical so we can, in review of the dive, see what changes uh, really mattered uh, for different operational scenarios. I'm definitely hoping that it goes smoothly, though. Okay, we have four beams of Doppler. Start to do. uh, move out. I'm going like, to start to set you up on yeah, like uh, in sight. So, DVL. So we're stretched out, so you want to get a little less than oh, stretched <laughs> out so <laughs> that thing. you can spin around. You won't be able to spin around. Yep, coming back to you now. Uh, okay, and then Argus and then altitude our, our, is 60. Yeah, and our Roger. normal delta so is yeah, around 17. So 17, Roger. Yeah, so, so we're switching you stop, you know, this source know, to DEDRAC from USBL. You, 30, 20, we're going to whatever, right? set okay. our vehicle position source to DEDRAC. 
and we're going to do a quick reset to USBL, which put us right there. And then you let the pilot know that we are on uh, DVL, so you can drive around with that. Yeah. Um, what I'll do once we're at the bottom is we might do a, we might hone in a, a more a better fix. But honestly, our USBL is performing really well right now, so it's not going to be too far off to to pair it to that DVL again. Um, even an on the fly, the one was really quite good. You're not here for the days of like crazy clouds of of USBL pings. It's 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 as good as DVL almost, almost. Um, so if I zoom in there, you'll see then that green track. That's the DVL, and it'll be slightly mispaired with with okay, the uh, USBL. I'm still a little above <coughs> you there. Okay, I'm gonna hold at 30. Yeah, Roger that. Atlanta holding at 30. Okay, I'm coming down. So I'm gonna say that I've got this going. And I'm back to you. And I'm waiting to log on bottom until we see on bottom on the Herc Zeus. I'll do that. Yes, go ahead, video. Uh, yeah. So, uh, when do you get bottom lock? Depth, but not position. We get about 80. Well, the, the Doppler will pick it up. You'll yeah. see that the Doppler is the, right under the compass rose. It oh, says yeah. Doppler. It says we'll get like one beam and then two. And then right now it's green, four beams. Oh, oh. So, so, Dave, was that on uh, your, your, um, your uh, closed captioning, Roger? So you don't have USB-L. It, um, it depends on what Doppler you have on. Let me see if I can fix that right now. This is a 600 uh, kilohertz Altitude one. So 14 meters. We have a, uh, a 300 kilohertz 14, one. 14, Roger. It's up like about 300 meters, I think, or two, yeah, two, 200 and something anyway. Yeah. They also make a 1200 kilohertz one that's, that's 30 meters, yeah. But very, then you get more precision, right? The higher frequency one. Okay, we should start this is a kind of a trade-off. Moment. Okay, Dave, let me know if that five. works. Five off bottom. I got a visual. Okay, I'm gonna go auto head. Okay, I'll take. Roger back. that. And I will try and spin around and see you. Okay, on bottom. So Roger, on bottom. Going to log that here. Taylor Ann's probably also logging it on bottom. It's affirmative. Roger. So I got the camera on. So redundancy we got there. Oh, yeah. Okay, on bottom. Time. So we kind of try and stay, don't get too far out in front, you know? Keeping that so. screen, Roger that. Okay. And I will try and follow you around. Okay. What are we so doing you can for see what they're doing okay. here. I'm coming down on the Delta. You can see how he got. Hercules in, in view there. Yeah. You think that's krill in the so water? He turned around. Yeah. Yeah, Jonathan, you didn't need visibility for your camera test, did you? <laughs> I was just thinking the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder the whales are here. <laughs> My goodness. Winter Wonderland. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, this is the very definition of a not ideal testing scenario. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so this is kind of a regular delta here. So okay, so that's a good phase full of tether. Picture. Roger that. Uh, are we meant to do the uh, the Zeus cow still? Yeah. Okay. We still got to do all that business. Roger, so, Roger. So we got to do a white balance. So white balance. Okay. There's a uh, a white patch on the manipulator. Copy that. So and do that. Can you bring up the manip and I'll move it out there? Pass it on. All right. Oh. So, Simon, yes, <laughs> don't reef down on this ring. <laughs> Is that too tight? Huh? Yeah, it's way too tight. I didn't. It's like I can't budge it. I didn't do it. Don't believe I did it tight. But Yeah, just 
It's really not necessary to do it. I don't believe I did, did it tight, but uh, I guess I did. So that's the cinema cam? Yeah. All right. Well, that's all right. I will. Dang it. I'll just uh, handle my own strength. Uh, all right. It was all right. So well, I'll bring it up. Okay, I got comms, I'm gonna bring it up. Okay. It jumps a little bit. I'll do that. Just be aware, and there's that camera lens right there. There we go. Okay, try and center up the, oh geez. Yeah, this is not great. <laughs> Uh, so, Robert, I noticed the ground fault when you turn on the craft. I don't know if that's yeah, right. Yeah, that's nature of the beast. Roger, Roger. Just checking. It's a feature. It's a feature, yeah, not a bird. Let you, know, <laughs> let you know it's on. Yeah, no, it's yeah. on now. Can we <laughs> zoom in, Dave? The on get on white balance. <clears throat> Tilt down a little bit. Copy. Tilt down a tiny. Center up the white patch a little bit more, a little bit good, right there. That would be. And Perk is going to go to black, while we black balance. Stand by for that. Go ahead, Data Lab. Okay. Okay, thank you. White balance complete. All right. All right, Simon, I'm going to ask you to, once you're ready, briefly come out of auto XY. Roger. Park this arm. Okay, I'm all done with the arm. You can okay. go wherever. Okay. Out of auto XY. Out of auto XY. Okay, I'm all good. You can go back in if you need it. Um, Robert, can we power up and Ethernet the Norbit? Thank you. Science. Norbit is on. Roger, thank you. Uh, sorry? Data Lab Nav, we have Norbit on. Let me know yeah, if you're we wanna seeing all that. Yeah, wreck out the camera. Roger that. Okay, extending. Got a good view. Uh, anyway. So you see how he racked that Zeus camera back. It not only can it uh, tilt and pan, but it also has a little bit of forward and aft, forward and aft movement. Okay, that's right. Uh, which we will uh, turn the want racked in if we're doing any arm stuff in front. Yeah. Um, Oh, here, Simon, so on Auto XY page here? You roger that. Um, you can set the max velocity, and the default is on the heading, the bottom one, roger. 10. That's way too, way too hot. So I, I just set it down to uh, 2. Kay. So it's going to come around kind of pokey, right? But it's much smoother. The 10 is just too, too hot. Copy that. So you can adjust these other max velocities, right? So. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So, point yeah. one is generally okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then you can also set the step sizes. So, 
if you're going to do a step move, right, you can, like, if, if you want it, you I'll can. I'll show you once we get all Like, we can step up, right? Mm -hmm. We're in auto depth. If we can step up by a, a step size, so half a meter, it should come up and stop. Go up here. Yeah. That's yeah. good. Yeah. So you can mm -hmm. do steps. You can do, yeah. Step down again. Oh, but <laughs> here's the dumb thing. Button, button. Button. You got to push the button, button. So push I just the push button. the button button. So yeah. <laughs> so the buttons don't work until you push the button button. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Roger that. In order to push the button, push the button button. All right. Roger. You're in a feedback loop of. <laughs> they, they claim that I asked for that. <laughs> um, okay, pilots, yeah. how are you doing with uh, being all set up? I think. If Simon's happy, I think I'm happy. Uh, yeah, everything seems pretty cool so far. Yeah. Okay, Roger. Uh, so back row, um, we are currently uh, just holding station here. We can start to face up slope and see if we get well, a little bit of a better camera view. Uh, no guarantees. It looks like behind Atalanta, um, about 20, 40, 60 meters, there is something maybe of interest. Okay, yeah, Roger we, that. We could perhaps uh, interrogate that and take a look at with the camera system. Yeah. Um, so the, yeah, the, the objective is to find something uh, worthy of imaging, Roger. right? And then we're just gonna work that in a number of different ways okay. once we get there, so. Let's start there then. That seems like a, the best thing we got. Before we go up slope, we'll just go check yeah, yeah. that out. Uh, so let's see. I can't get over how much life is in the water. So <laughs> you on. have. This is just amazing. These are all vehicle. Uh, vehicle forward is up always. So even if even when you turn your heading around and everything like that, it's so it's going to spin around as you as you spin. It's not like permanently referenced like this. Yeah. So so now I have to say, okay, Atalanta's heading is uh, what is it? Uh, zero seven zero is this way. So now I have to say, okay, in order, what's behind me and slightly off. So I want, uh, like, probably 225 is where that rock is. Does that kind of make sense? You got to, like, move the compass in your mind, and then you got to, <laughs> and then you got to take that, and, and then, okay, it should be, yeah. Um, okay, so we want to maybe spin Atalanta's heading to 225 as Hercules comes around. Um, it would be my suspicion of where it is. And then I will likely need to move the ship towards that direction, won't I? Yes. I will. It's because it's 60 meters away. Let me, once you, once you eye it up there, um, I'll confirm the, the vector just to not test my math. I'll come around this way. Roger. Are you coming? Are you coming? Oops. Oh. I don't want to do that lateral. I yeah. don't want to do that either. That's the porch. Do this. Yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah, that's fish. Hey, ROV, uh, are, the d are all the lights on? Is down on right now? Yeah, down is on. Can you, you can turn, turn that off, off, please? Yeah. We don't have a porch light, by the way, so... Then okay. Just Can you turn off mids, please? And what? Down back on and mids off? There we go. And can you what? turn on down and right. turn on forward, please? Well, this is down and uppers on. Okay, let's do down and mids on only. Just uppers off, down and mid. That's better. Oh. You got a shadow. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where that weird hexagon shadow is. Ooh. That's the shadow of the porch on the bottom end. Would you, you like a uh, brow cam off of gauges and... Please turn off the okay? down again? No, because we, we have... We now have Triclops as our forward cam. And oh, roger, roger. Got it. Yeah. We're kind of fat on forward cams all of a sudden. Too many. <laughs> <laughs> it's an imbalance. All right, so Atalanta's still coming around. Uh, you can see those are those features there. And 
it's going to be, it looks like it'll be roughly at 225. So he's going to turn a little bit more. Hey, Robert, can you turn down, please? Off? Yeah, hang on. Let me, let me get this settled. <laughs> <laughs> okay, down, that's just mids. <laughs> Can you now do just forwards? Just uppers? Just forward. There's no forward, there's uppers, mids, and downs. There you go. Bridge, snuff. I think we need a little gain there. <laughs> Can we step four zero meters bearing 225? You got a lot Thank of... Oh, that's all basket. Uh, pilots, I'm moving the ship a bit towards that yeah. target. Copy that. That's pretty dark. Like, are you liking that? No, no, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, no uh, I'm writing some notes. One second. Yeah. So we do have the aft light on too, by the by. Oh, can you turn aft off just to... Not yeah, complicate but things. I'm not totally thrilled with that. But Just real quick. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. We could, we're, if we stay kind of. Is that off? That's off. Okay, you can turn it back on. That doesn't do anything. Hey. Sure. Yeah. Go. <laughs> 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 So we're leaving here for folks grabbing dinner. Hey, Rachel. Or K2, one of us. What's up, relief team? Hey, Jonathan. Hey, Dan. What's up with the lights? So, can uh, right now this is forward only. Uh, if you turn everything on, you'll see what I'm trying to get rid of for the stereo cam. And give, me, a give me a second. Let me. Uh, is there a seabed around here? Seven meters up. Nah, this is all just mud. We're trying to search for a vertical structure. Yeah, Dan, we've got a target um, in Atalanta. I'm head moving the ship in that direction towards it. Uh, we're hoping to get something there, maybe a boulder. Um, uh, south? It is 225, roughly. Roger, I'm going to turn some lights on. Go ahead. So we're starting to see that in Hercules as well. That's better. Yeah, not for triclops. You see how it just uh, lit up the domes? Nope, I don't see that. Looks fine to me. <laughs> <laughs> what do I know? Which light I'm just was that? The that ROV was pilot. Hey, Dave, hey, what, uh, what are the yeah, yeah, we can mess with all the lighting the once we like, for the triclops. stop moving and everything. Roger. Oh, hey, look, there's a seabed. Hey, Roger. Uh, yeah, Dan, so we're just. Trying to see if those features are anything. All right. Roger. I'll be back. I can't. My mask is fogging up my glasses, so I can't see that either. <coughs> yeah. I don't know about you. The problem I'm having the mask is uh, making my glasses fog. So. <laughs> I don't know about everyone in the back row, but I can't see anything. Uh, uh, I'm going to compromise. Uh, we have 17 meters left on the ship move. Roger. Is the porch extended? Yes. Left if I re if I retract it, Jonathan, it will get those out of the light. Yeah, go ahead and do that, please. Roger, retracting the porch. TJ, yeah. can you please retract the porch? And Randy, you're heading to those sonar mm. targets. Is that the? Uh, yes, we are. We yeah. are indeed. Great. It's the one that says danger. Yes. Porch in danger. Smash that button. And go all the way. That's better. That's better. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so that's going to change from 225. 
based on how we're making that. Ooh, that camera's fast. But it, it's about how much we have left. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Uh, can you do me one more favor, TJ? I know I'm high maintenance. Um, sorry, do we have Atalanta zoomed right now? Yeah, Dave, you Roger need to let us know before you do that, please. Yeah, that was me. It's all TJ. Okay, Roger. TJ, you need to let us know before you do that. <laughs> Communicate, people. Roger, Roger. Um, freaking us out. And right, ship is left. just about slowing to a stop there. Five meters left to go. And you have that terrain to your starboard side. Thank you, sir. Yes. Headed starboard. Can you do us another favor, TJ? Yep. I, know, I know I'm high maintenance. Um, can you okay, change... Okay, there you go. Can you change the uh, camera to the... Um, what is the word I want? Jar cam. Never mind, I'll do it. I can't speak and fly at the same time, obviously. Camera. Starboard rail off. Bucket cam, that's the okay, one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so the bucket cam gives us an overview of the front of the vehicle now. Yep. So uh, the idea there is I can see the... Uh, and uh, give us a second here, people. I'm just going to get a... Uh, my uh, lower sonar is not... It needs, what does it need? Push some of those buttons and you should get an image there of that rock. So I know, oh, maybe I'm above it. Jason, is this the kind of target you're, you're looking for? Jonathan? Uh, no, I'd really prefer a cliff face, but this will do for now. Well, you, we, we, we haven't moved up to see whether this actually continues. It could, yeah. be, it could be an isolate or it could have fallen off or something too, so. Atalanta can see out uh, 100 meters. If you look on the left-hand sonar there, those are 20-meter divisions for Atalanta. And uh, the ones on the right uh, are Hercules, and those are currently 10-meter divisions. So in theory, I'm five what, meters what? away from this rock. Those, those are five-meter divisions on Hercules. Is that 10 meters. 10 meters. Uh, are you happy with the gain levels there, Dan, everything? Yeah, Raj. Roger. It's this one that's wonky. Yeah, right. I'll, uh, I'll play with that in a minute. Copy. So in the chat, people are asking if we're looking for data samples. And right now, we're not actually looking window, window. for a data sample. Yeah, Roger. You're yeah. pretty quiet. Talk to your partner. Yeah, come right down, mate. Is this better? A little bit. Closer? Yeah, much better. All much right. Better. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so we have over on SPL people asking if we're looking for data samples. And right now we're not actually looking for data samples. We're trying to find some good images, some things that are really unique, look cool for us to test out our new camera systems. So we are actually not going to be collecting too many biological samples on this expedition. And we're kind of just trying to fine tune our camera systems and so that we can make some awesome 3D models out of them. And this is the, the very first dive of the expedition, what we call the shakedown dive. And so we have uh, Jonathan here, the king of the cameras, who's uh, basically going to run Sorry, them through a whole bunch of faces and try to calibrate them so that as we go to other sites later in this leg, um, we'll, we'll be able to produce this very spectacular imagery. But this is kind of the, the test drive. Um, give me a second here. I just turned all the lights on because I'm getting a little closer. I only got one sonar working, so I'm not sure how close I am here. Um, oh, we got a little shrimp there. I got there. three cameras on it. <clears throat> yeah, Raj. Well, you can have Randy move the ship closer. <laughs> and just because we're on an engineering dive, it, it wouldn't help all of you who know what we're seeing in terms of these... Uh, Creatures to identify what they are, if you can. Ready? Would you uh, like? Uh, yeah, right in front of us we have an Aridogorgia coral, and then that's the spirally looking one. <coughs> and then below it is a mushroom coral, I think it's Anthemastis. Below that, at the bottom, that pink bit, we have uh, an anemone. I'm not quite sure what the white ones are at the moment, those white spiky ones, but unknown at the, at the moment. Well, that's, uh, Rennie, I didn't, know, I didn't know you had all that in you. That's, that's, <laughs> that's fantastic. 
I could have gotten the anemone, but that was about it. <laughs> it's just from sitting in the... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and paying attention. That's yeah. one, one thing is sitting, another is paying attention. We could also talk about this rock, too. Uh, so. well, I'm still playing oh. with my uh, ballast and joystick games and stuff here. We are, we are late. <clears throat> Let's come up and see if it is indeed a cliff face, but I don't think so. No, I, I think it's just a boulder. I think, I, I think, yeah, but it probably broke off of something. So yeah. I, I think that that says we're came from above. We're probably <laughs> close. Yeah. Yeah. It would be my preference to continue on and look for the cliff face here early on, rather than getting focused on this rock. Roger. Um, question for you, starboard stereo. Yeah. What do you think? I think that's fog or something like that, but right. can you try turning off the uppers again, please? Um, uh, uppers. Uh, nope. Ernie, Ernie, have you dropped a, <laughs> a, a marker here? So Just did. Yeah, just in, just in case this is the only was, show in town. I think we're on the same page. I was thinking <laughs> the same thing in case, there, in case it did not come from above. Yep. <laughs> There's some prestigious uh, stars on the left. Uh, Cinemacam looks fantastic from this angle. And some brachiopods actually hanging up under the uh, under that overhang. Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah, we've got a good diversity of life. We've got some <laughs> sponges, yeah. some more oh, pseudorandomatics. I don't know why I'm what talking about biology. <laughs> oh, no, you're good. I was typing away back here anyway. <laughs> Um, <coughs> no, you're you're you know just as much as I do. <laughs> this is about as cliff as you're gonna get. You know, we could go around this rock and get a make a good 3D model of it. I don't. Know. I think that's a good start. I am seeing that we have Atalanta including the uh, port lens there. What? It's Atalanta. That's the sunbeam oh, of Atalanta. Yeah. Uh, I can come around the other way, or we can get ready to move the ship. Yeah, would you like to be a little closer on this thing? Yeah, put it. Try and hit. If you hit Herc with that Atlanta, you're too close. Okay, <laughs> Roger. I'm going to go uh, <laughs> one five meters at 225. Roger, one five meters at 225. Bridge, Nav. Step one five meters, bearing 225. It's uh, really Thank you, Martina. dusty here. Um, So you see what I mean about tilting that camera down a little more, John? The cinema cam? Uh, I can't really assess until we get a better... So let's forget about the stereo cameras for just a minute. So I want to I wanna show you something, okay, while we're waiting for the ship to move. Yeah. So I am... Um, <coughs> oh, let's say... So I'm probably two to three meters away from that rock. If you look at that picture right there above, you can kind of see. And, uh, well, you can see in uh, Atlanta there, yeah. right? So I'm too close now. I'm dusting it. Uh, and if I tilt down with Herc's cam a little bit, so typically where we're looking with Hercules' camera is going to be uh, we we typically go uphill with this ROV unless obviously we're on a cliff face. So that's just the porch in view there. So if I uh, actually it's not bad. That's not too bad. No, they're matching up. So what I was trying to do. So if I come in like close to this thing and and. Uh, <coughs> Ignore your stereo cameras for the minute, and then I'm going to turn the down lights on. Typically, what we do when we come in here. So I would get like this close before we, and then I would try and stabilize the vehicle and uh, go for a zoom, right? So the if and and then uh, <coughs> then we can you know look at details like polyps and stuff. So I have to be within a couple meters of what I'm looking at. So now with the cinema camera, it's, if it was on a tilt actuator, I would tilt down and get a, a 90 degree view out. So, but this, the cinema cam, because of the brow on her cinema cam is now over that. So if I back up enough uh, to get it just in the bottom view of cinema cam, now I'm 
uh, you know, probably two or three meters away. Ship move is just about complete. Atlanta's probably halfway through it. Roger that. And as I continue to back up here, um, and I'll just come up a bit, you'll see the light start to fade and the detail that we can see in Zeus fade. So if any was, for example, to ID the sea enemy, he, he couldn't uh, he couldn't do that from here. <coughs> If it, was a, from here. if it was a submarine, yeah, that's a, well, it's a whole different story, right? Or a ship or a cliff or something, but... <clears throat> so the ultimate solution would be able to tilt, to be able to tilt the upper camera, then we could align them both. Uh, well, we don't want to be able to tilt it just from the photogrammetry angle. One of the key elements behind that is that we try not to shift the angle as much as possible. Even for what cinema? Is, uh, for cinema cam? Oh, sorry. It's on the physical monitor. Mm. I'm sorry, what did you say? Even for cinema cam? No, I think it is fog. That's one of the triclops. Uh, yeah, the starboard one is. Do you see the starboard? Yeah, that's... Uh, Unfortunately, what we're seeing inside of the starboard camera is a bit of fog. That's a beautiful view um, down the cliff, though, with the cinema camera. Oh, yeah. Super vertical. That's it. Yeah. So, uh, Dan, if you could, Ooh. I think that I have all three cameras recording right now. Roger. And uh, if we could do a complete circle around this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know about a complete circle, but... Yeah, something as close as you can. Uh, one, perhaps one meter off the deck first, and then two, two meters, and then three, three meters, so that we get a complete coverage as much as possible. So... Roger that. Pretend um, you're... Uh, just, just be warned, uh, so we got a bit of a, you know, stiff current here, and a lot Roger. of debris in the water. And so when we come around the other way, you're going to have... <clears throat> uh, you know, not this nice view. I got my nose into the breeze now. So you might consider like doing a 90, 90 and doing a 180. Okay. Coverage. I'd, I'll okay. trust, I'll trust you for this one. And then, um, again, we're, we're going to do what's called icing the cake for this one, which is to get as much coverage as possible. And when you're doing photogrammetry like this, we want at least a 70% overlay. Right. Um, so thank you. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm going to go grab some food. I'm, uh, uh, Dan, the current's coming from the east. Here in the, the back row, you're going to hear Rachel coming online. Oh, uh, let me, uh, let me let go of it for a minute and come up a bit. Uh, <clears throat> I have a question from the chat. It appears of, to be coming from the east. Yeah. How can we tell how far away the ROV is from the rock? Well, we got several several mechanisms to do that, um, and I don't think they can see out over the satellite link, but we have uh, what we call sector scanning sonars, and these are the two displays up on the right there with the rings. You see mm -hmm. those? Over yeah. There? And, and if you see on the one on the, the far right, you see that little line? Yeah, the one that, going around? Yeah, it's going around now, and you'll see the, the vehicle is always right at the center, and if it sees a target, you'll get a bright spot. And you'll see right as it's coming now, it's going to paint that. Well, it's actually in a different spot now. It was. So it'll it'll paint <coughs> where the rock is there. Okay. And those are five meter, or excuse me, 10 meter rings. So we know we're within 10 meters. That's one way. The other way is if we look up, and that I think they can see out on the satellite link at the, at the uh, view from Adelant, you could actually see Hercules there and you see the rock. Now, it doesn't give you a quantitative measure like that, but you can see it's very, very close yeah. to the rock. So there are two different ways. Uh, I also, we, ha we actually have two scanning sonars on Hercules, and the other one is a bit lower um, down facing, where the one that you can see, that Larry can see up there is um, uh, upward facing. So the downward facing one is ranged to 10 meters, and we've managed to now get that adjusted. So I'm, I'm actually... Um, Right now, it's pinging the rock about uh, one meter away.
still don't know which if it's east or not. I think it's kind of flowing around the rock here, so well, I can't. It could be too. I can't really take, tell. Takes a little trip around. Here we go, around the world. You want to look to your uh, left a little for me? Yeah. You can, uh, if you want, you can uh, come down a few meters. If you hit the rock, you're too close. Here, Joe. So the stereo camera that's fogged up is the one that John and Jonathan and I <coughs> removed 10 minutes before the dive, opened up, uh, flicked some switches, put back together, and we did a kind of a quick, uh, we pull a vacuum on it and um, then backfill it with nitrogen. And we leave just a little bit of a vacuum in it so the, um, it helps to seal it up on deck because the nature of the lens ceiling there. Um, <clears throat> the descant should clear that up. If, if, oh, and the vacuum check also checks to make sure there's no leaks. So uh, we kind of, we rushed it a bit there. And now we're paying for it. Okay, so you're making a lazy circle around this feature, is it? Getting plenty of overlap with the cameras? I think so, yeah. I'm kind of bobbing up and down as they come around. You kind of get a sense of what the current is doing there, if the, if the vehicle will stop moving for a minute, maybe. Just from the uh, marine snow. And the fish, they're good telltales. And so the idea is from, from all these overlapping images, Jonathan will put together a, a three. I can. Um, I, don't, <laughs> I don't. It's out of frame. Okay. All right. All right um, I, I don't want to interrupt the, his photogrammetry run, but we'll, we're just going to be hanging out this target, so we'll probably come back around there. Yeah. Yeah, well. Yeah, you're always watching. Right? So big brother. So Dan, can you pan left at all? Is that possible with the camera? Or will that ruin, will that ruin Jonathan's experiment? Pilot, this is Sael. Dan, you there? Oh. oh, he's not. He's got no ears on. Hold on. Yeah, they're doing a they're doing a pilot exchange now, so I don't want to interrupt that. Okay, Dan. Dan. Sorry, Dan was checked out there yeah. for a minute. Yeah, um, I saw that. Yeah. Somebody's trying to kick me out of the chair, and I'm resisting. Yeah, is it? it would it ruin Dan's experiment if we just pan the camera left for a second? Pan the camera. It would, but okay. I have okay. I have this ROV, and I can turn it to the left. Okay. So Bob says there's a bunch of. Sh shells down at the bottom there. Oh, Roger. Tell me what you want to see. I'll, I'll get you there. Shells, sorry. I was talking and uh, not paying attention to details. More to the left? Or? Well, I don't know. I, I didn't I didn't notice them, so, but Bob did. And he's, he's a good noticer. Yeah, there's also some dead coral laying right there. Seems like it's covered in sediment. That also might be a can. That looks like a, yeah, okay. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. the shell how she's seeing. Yeah, if you get, my suspicion, looking at the cliff, my suspicion is that this stuff is eroded out of it. I, I see, I'm yeah. starting to see little shells. Yeah. If you can zoom in on that with the, with the can and all. Yeah, let me the come scale. down a little bit lower before we zoom. I wonder if it would ruin Jonathan's experiment if I stuffed his cameras under the mud. <laughs> I don't have to worry about the uh, foggy lens. And what he, 
<clears throat> is that also a can right there? Yeah, there's, yeah. A, can, there's a can there, no question. Yeah. Well, Bob, it's a clam bake, you know that. Looks like uh, someone had a party. <laughs> Drinks and clams here. Who's officially in video? Somebody over there, you can uh, zoom in now. We can date it by uh, seeing it's a Bud Light. That's, uh, zoom out just a bit for us, video. Looks like some okay. other. I'll just move the vehicle a little closer. Dang. Yeah, that's a Bud Light. Can. Definitely a Bud Light can. It's been down there for a while. Yeah, I think the question is what, what, what's this concentration of shells doing here? Yeah. There's not something living in that one. No. So um, what's, what next? Look, next to that big shell, what what are, what are those? Are those dead coral? Where's our biologist? Yeah, it looks yeah, like, it looks like looks li these are coral fragment pieces here. Yeah. Some, yeah, brachiopod shells and. I'm just wondering coral if there's a place hatch. where where it maybe gets a little excessive scouring, so the the big stuff is kind of accumulating and and uh, the fine stuff's been washed out. Um. What's that? I'm, I'm just I'm just looking over yeah. my shoulder at uh, Chris's multi-beam map, which is which is really quite nice. Oh yeah, how come we don't have Chris's multi-beam on the big screen? Where's, where's Ross? Okay, you could, yeah, you we could, can ask video. You could, you could zoom out of that. Uh, look at the context again. <coughs> okay, video, you video? can zoom out. Go ahead. Uh, we can do it from here, Chris. Okay. What, what PC? It's, it? it's the, the Norb computer. So is it on PC 1 through 4? Uh, no, I think that's what you got to do for video. So we can do that here, or video can do it. If you, uh, I'll just walk the whole room through it. If you uh, control Alt X. Right here or yeah. here? Yeah, no, right there. And then bash the little yellow phone looking thing there. Yeah. And then go down to uh, PC, let's say PC4. PC to video, this one? Uh, yeah, pick PC4 just for... That one, yeah. Yeah, and now find your computer. And Dan, or, or video, if you could zoom in on that white layer at the, the bottom, yeah, at the, the base of the rock there. And then pick that. Let's see what that is. To the right. Okay. And, then, and then close that thing out. Okay. Stand by, Larry. Yep. What do you want to see, Larry? The, see the white layer just at the base of the rock to your right, to right in the right corner. Roger. Just want to see if this is shells or things. What What is it that... Someone, Larry, you have a telestrator, you know. What's you, that? You telestrator can be like a sports announcer up there. Telestrator's temporarily. Uh, Roger. Disconnect. Um, I could task TJ, but I'm gonna task. Uh, I'm gonna task <coughs> video. Video, can you put PC4 and H11, please? I'll uh, task TJ too. It's a race. Who can do it first? <laughs> so you see that you see where it's white underneath that overhang there. Yeah. Right, right, right. Roger to the right. No. Well, uh, that that's to interesting too. It's to the left there. I'm I'm more interested right under. Yeah, straight straight ahead. Uh, straight ahead, Roger. Yeah. And and down a little. Uh, it's right. It's right in the middle of the screen right now. Yeah. H uh, one four. Go ahead and then, uh, yeah. There you go. H14, did you say? Uh, H11. H11. Okay. okay. Hmm. Right, you got a you got a snap of that? Okay, good. Okay, thanks. Oh, my pleasure. TJ, if you, uh, on your panel there, that colored panel, mm -hmm.
There should be a button there that says H11 somewhere. Yeah, for some reason, Dan, I'm locked out. I don't know why I can't. Okay, select that. That's now your destination. Now on the right, you should see where it says source PC, uh, orange button right here. Press that. And then you should get PC one through four. Select, what did we select, Chris? Four. Yeah, hit four. Boom. Hey. Now we're cooking with gas. We got an orbit and we got triclops. Look at us go. Yeah. <laughs> Dan, I'm still zoomed in. Now, are you starting oh, to see on, on Adelant? Are you starting to see it about 30 meters off uh, the target? Uh, say that again, Larry. Watch it on the Adelant sector scan. I'm wondering if, the, if there is something out there at about 30 meters. Yeah, there's a little hint of something out there. There's nothing, uh, you know, there's no yellow or red out there. Uh, I'm just slowly working my way around this rock still, but... Um. Uh-oh, TJ blew it. There he goes. What do you do? He displayed high pack. Nobody wants to see that. No. Not even Larry. No. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, that, you got it perfect. Okay. No, <clears throat> no, you're good. Oh, that's what you want up there. Yeah. You want the ROV nav up there, right? Yeah. Are you good? Roger. Uh, can you look down a bit at uh, Herc? Sorry, I'm a high maintenance. <laughs> uh, so to do that, uh, touch Mon left here. No, no, this guy. This guy is all your KVM. And then, uh, yeah, some button. And wait for it because it is a, um, the buttons are controlled by a Pi, so they're not, uh, they're not super fast. And that thing will run away. That's a known uh, bug. You can either hit stop or sometimes you got to hit the set, uh, cycle the power. Yeah, so hit, yeah, cyclops power. Mm -hmm. Sorry. You're going to be ready on the power cycle. <coughs> you can zoom out if you want. I don't, I don't think the zoom in is doing us a lot. You can zoom in maybe just a little bit on that Alenta. You won't have to, yeah, that's good there. Hey, let me do it, let me do it. Sometimes I think it's the way the mouse clicks. I haven't tried them yet. I'm gonna go off comms for just a second. So for those um, listening okay, at um, home. Sorry oh. to jump in there. Uh, so you guys see that, uh, are you on the line? Um, yeah, I'm not gonna wait for that. 
Um, so we see the tether there, how it's going over Herc, and it's kind of getting close together. So we need to do something about that. So we have several options. The first thing I would do is yet come up on it. The um, second thing we could do is uh, oh. uh, move the boat, but I think I would just come up on it. So it depends on how the current is is uh, yeah, sure. behaving and whether we, uh, like if we had a strong current, it would be blowing that away and I wouldn't worry about it. And I could come like right close to Hercules. Uh, but because of the, uh, just the way it is now, I, I, I'm kind of, can you hear me okay, Simon? Yeah, yeah. You are a trainee, trainer. Uh, I'm not, uh, the tether's freaking me out a little bit. They're gonna have to come up a little more. Okay, I'm on SPF. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, SCF. Didn't mean to cut you off back there. Oh, no we worries at all. We were having a, a tether moment. <laughs> okay. Ooh, it's looking, it's looking more like a cliff. Hey, Dan, you still up there? Yeah, I'm here. This is looking more like a cliff, eh, buddy? Hey, Dan, you on SPL? I am. Can hey. you hear me? Yeah, I can. So, um... I'm seeing that the fog is actually slowly clearing. The desiccant is doing port. its job. Or on the starboard cam there. We're going to go look at this uh, China Clops here. Starboard. Oh, is this? Also, I'm sorry, why? Can't control that one now? Can anyone identify this fish? China cops, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah. Fish with feet. I love the fish with the feet. They can um, be different color morphs as well, can't they? Yeah, I've never seen a gray one before. I know, it's a really pretty modeling color. Is that a China cops? So when we come into land, I usually come down, and if I want to take my hands off, I'll get it stable. Um, yes, I'll that hit is stick a lock, So that holds my current heading or my current commands. And then if I have a little forward on, if both thrusters are forward, which you can tell here, I'll hit auto heading because it's not like a regular vehicle with four. Yep. So that's not blowing me out. So that's holding me in. And then now that I'm landed, I will, uh, I'm loath to pan my camera. But now uh, video can zoom in nice and slow. And we'll get a beauty shot of the, uh, a feather star underneath there as well. And then so, um, I don't have the lasers on, but if you put the object you want to look at mm -hmm. in the middle to the lower half of the picture, the nature of this, the way it's looking with the parallax error, as he zooms in, it'll fill the screen. Yeah. And takes a bit of... Uh, It takes a few times to get that, but the <coughs> the key is usually we have the lasers on, but apparently we only have one. We only have there. one, yeah. So. Um, I'll usually do. I use the lasers to get video to go. Scale it, yeah. <coughs> we'll get some detail there of his. Uh, Beautiful close up. Hey, uh, Dave. Go for Dave. Hey, could we uh, just get the triclops on the upper right monitor there instead of repeating it? If that's okay with uh, ROV2. That's okay with me. So, upper right on the wall? Yeah, correct. Wall, full screen. Monitor top right. two. Okay. <clears throat> but I don't know if you have it in a piece. Oh, you do. Monitor two, WCA. There we go. Thank you, sir. 
That'll and, change. Uh, That'll change I, if we fire salvos. I also feel totally comfortable if you want to broadcast that out on Sat three as well Copy. for our viewers. Copy Sat three. Well, I could sit here and watch this fish all night. Let's, ta let's talk about our. Uh, slowly heating up to getting rid of that fog. Yeah. You're just gonna have to backfill it again. Pull a bit. Pull a bigger vacuum. Um. Uh, so I not, didn't. Not, not yeah. Hey, I think that this is fine for here. Jonathan and Chris. So you can see where I've flown around by Chris's model. And I don't know if that's enough to do any down decent down photogrammetry, down but it looks like it goes uphill a little in front of me. So I could either fly back around the rock a couple more times or we could mosey on. I, uh, we um, could model the rest of the rock and um, see what we got in uh, in orbit. Yeah, if you, I mean, we could, if you come up and just do a quick rotation or a sweep, up a little higher, we could get a view of the whole thing, if right. that's something we want to know. I think so. I think since we've done this much on this far, we should just complete this, and then my preference is that we continue upslope until we find anything interesting. OK. So in this case, um, I have this Z, you know about the Z bias yet? Yeah. So I'll dial that up and down all the time. Uh, all right, but it currently, focus. depending on how you know, heavier or light we are, or we're picking up yes, rocks sir. or whatever, it'll change. But I like it when I let go and it slowly floats up. So the chat is saying that this is not a China cops, but a Pacific goose. Oh, I lost it. Pacific goose fish. So science, you have a, what do you think of that? I can't hear you at all. Uh, hey, can don't, you hear me? don't control. All Hold on, I'm having issues. Don't uh, control all X. Go. Uh, don't use that. X that out. Yeah, that could be totally possible. Um, we're gonna check on that ID right uh, now. And all right. Go disconnect. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Now you got it. So go monitor right. Disconnect. Monitor right. Engineer. Do not control all X from that station. You will make it mad. <clears throat> Sorry, the current pushed me into the rock there because I was not paying attention. I gotta come out, out a little bit. Hey, uh, Zach, could we get a notation to troubleshoot the broadcast of Triclops on the satellite channels and notate that it could be P60 versus P59? You're gonna have to come up a bit, TJ. I don't like the tether that close. It's gonna, it's gonna hock all on us. Or Chris can move the boat. Either one. And also, if you can Maybe notate both. that uh, at this time right now, we so have. So I have my uh, down lights on. That's killing me. Looks like the fog is clearing up on the port side lens. Yeah, come up, come up. What's that? Red job. And Jonathan, you wanted. Uh, okay, you'll have to drive me, Chris, on where we need to go to get what? coverage here. Yep. I can't, I can't really hear you, sir. For the broadcast of Tricon, yeah. you said uh, P what? It's currently, our bro our, we're outputting uh, 1080p60. I'm moving and, a little uh, faster now. I need to switch now, it over so to yeah. NTSC 1080p59. We've been here before. You can see by my... Yeah. yeah. You don't get interlaced out of these. All right, so you want to move kind of upslope? Yeah. Uh, no, you just have to tell me where I need to go to get the rest of this rock forward left. Oh, right okay, from the Norbit. Yeah. They definitely had it working gotcha. here in Johnston. I'm doing a kind of a fast high pass around here, but it's going to be yucky because I blew it Oops. out. So we're back to the shell hash here. We started just maybe about 10 meters to my left. So these are 10 meter boxes, and I like to keep them. Okay, so the like best that. side is going to be the left side. Oh, Roger. That's good. So if you come oh, up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Come up uh, another. Three meters, maybe? We'll see how that looks. Right there, up three meters. We don't need to go directly over it. I can steer the swath out to the left. You're crazy. How can you do that? Like that. Check that out. Whoa! What? Are you You're making me dizzy. Crazy. 
Let's set that lower gate out there a little longer. Pow. Am I, am oh, I man. too fast for it? Yeah, or no, it's, it doesn't the, care. The fish ID. You can't move uh, too fast for it. Fish is so do you want... Um, oh, so actually, go to the right a little bit. To the right. Oh, he, he was saying that the, the goose fish is the correct ID. Yeah. Okay, right, who's driving? Thank you on that. You are. No, somebody else is steering the mouse. Oh, somebody S is. Somewhere. Yeah. Should not be able to do that. Well, it's sitting on a laptop in the data lab. They might no. just be doing that. You can call down there and tell them to. Yeah, uh, to the right, just a few more meters. Roger. So for our viewers at home earlier, that was not a China cops, but was actually a goose fish. Um, Science, could you guys help tell us what's the difference between the two? How can you tell the difference? I would say the, definitely the coloration and the shape of the fish itself definitely looks right, a lot different than a chonocops. Um, oh, okay. This looks what good. What made me think it was a chonocops is because it had ahead. similar kind straight of protrusions ahead. and uh, form, and they so had like the frogfish okay. type right. feet, um, which is why I thought maybe it, it was a chonocops. Yeah, um, I definitely. Oh, yeah, you're definitely not a, a fish biologist, <laughs> but I'm definitely learning a lot about the fish. Same here. <laughs> the ones I've known is from watching earlier too, yeah. earlier expeditions. Yes. Still, I think very Yeah, we, need to, we could almost come up even a little higher. Roger, come on up. How's our uh, pin check catcher? Well, this is going to be good. We'll get a good view of that face, which is what you photogrammetry. So yeah. even if we do another pass up higher, because this thing is almost vertical. Actually, I'm going to switch to. It is almost vertical. I'm going to switch to vertical mode. <laughs> it looks like Minecraft, eh? Yeah, <laughs> well, it's the same, it's exact same model, actually. <laughs> yeah, we need to go up higher. Uh, Roger, you want to come? Well, back yeah, just, just keep, just up? keep, just keep going. Finish this line. Roger. Uh, until we, because you can still see we're picking up some of the rock. Yeah. Okay, holding. Uh, Here, I'll put this. I'll make this big so you can see it. All right, we passed the rock. Roger. Uh, can I turn, or do you want me to back up? No, just back up. Roger. But higher? Yes, but higher. Okay. Okay. Just, uh, picking it up. Maybe next time we should angle the Norbit somewhat, so we can do this sort of thing better. Yeah. Because I'm starting to lose on the very edge of my right, on the very edge of my port side swath. Oh, you mean kick it out to the left? Yeah, because yeah. I because I can steer it pretty far. Yeah. And we can't steer it to the to starboard very far because of the because it's under the foam right. pack. Might as well kick it out. Yeah. So I'm up quite a bit now. I'm yeah, that's good. Now you see meters. we're starting to get some views on the top of it. All right. So you know about this number now, right? Uh, dif difference in depth between your Atlant that? Atlantis and Hercules, right? Yeah, that's what we refer to as the delta, and it's also yeah. uh, here somewhere. I use yeah. the old man numbers yeah, there. Yeah, it's on the, oh, on it's the way here. down. I was holding that around zero, and then I think yeah. uh, 30. Yeah, tail to tail zero. But you see how it turns red when it goes over 20? But our yeah, 20 is kind of our canned uh, delta. So. Uh, TJ's all over it. He's maintaining that as I'm, you know, all around. So really nice to have uh, someone there that watches that and knows. So he's. Uh, all right. Let's maybe step over to the to the left. Uh, step and left. I can. I'll hold. I'll try and hold my altitude there. Ten meters to the ten meters to the left. Uh, tether up. Uh, not bothered about six eight. I put like twenty turns in it, trying to spin it out. Before Josh lost interest and told me to stop. Hey, uh, Chris. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd say that I'm just uh, patiently waiting for you to say we're done at this point. Uh, I'm gonna want to do some lighting tests. Okay. But we're gonna. I'd, do lo I'd love to find anything different than this rock. As okay. We go I mean, we can. Uh, we can do another target if you want. 
We're gonna I got a couple swipes on it, so. We're, we're going to do one more quick pass. We're already lined up for the next, so we'll do that, and then Roger. we'll get it. Sounds yeah, it's good. actually better if I kind of know ahead of time and get a get a survey set up and stuff. It'll be easier to pull the data apart later. Yeah, you happy with... Uh... Oh, come up a little bit, Dan. Sorry, coming up. Yeah, you're going to... You're just going to... Uh, sorry, I'll back up. Uh, 12, yeah. I automatically try and go back down. Hey, Data, I've stopped recording at this time. Stopped recording on both cams. Totally cleared up now. That's good. Uh, 14, 15, That's good. Like that. that'll, that'll be good. So that'll be a depth of uh, 617. Uh, and yeah, if you can even kind of go to the left a little more. Any humidity right at all. Just kind of left, left and forward is fine. Right here. And kids, if you're watching, I'm playing Minecraft with a real <laughs> ROV. <laughs> I'm building my fortress. <laughs> Could you explain um, what you mean by that to the viewers at home that can't see? Um, we can actually output what you're seeing there. Okay, that'd be cool. Um, I think it's video on one channel, or channel one seems to be black on the quad. It's on uh, PC, PC4, no, Dave, if you want to send it out. I'm sorry, say again, I'm instructing back here. If you send PC4 out to the world. Okay. PC4 uh, out to the world. They can see what it's like it's three, uh, PC4. to fly an ROV in a Minecraft world. So Minecraft is all pixelated. You uh, build blocks and destroy blocks, and you know, it's a lot more complicated than that. But uh, it started out started out with my children as an educational game. We bought them these uh, Raspberry Pis, and they had the native Minecraft on them, and they had to uh, complete some STEM activities before they could play the next game. And they completed every single STEM activity in like eight hours. <laughs> and that was uh, years ago when they were, before they were teenagers and they continue to play Minecraft. I've had students use Minecraft to build um, projects for me. They'd had to make a sustainable, project and they've made like roller coasters and showing different types of biomes through it. It's pretty cool mm -hmm. what you can do with Minecraft after it. So the the model that uh, Chris is, is using uh, in Norbit now is similar. It's you know, pixels and they are all arranged in, yep. a, in a 3D space. Chris could talk to that way. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're volumetric pixels, right? So they're called voxels. Uh, and they're actually sort of like nested, right? So every voxel you start with like full scale voxel and every every one of those has eight cubes inside of that and every one of those has eight cubes inside of that and so on until you get to the minimum size which we're seeing here so it's a very efficient way to represent data for a large for a large area okay you ready to come in ready and uh okay jonathan we're going to do one more pass on the rock uh. that you're bored with you asked for it. This is photogrammetry. I've only done like four. <laughs> I'm not even recording. You're not recording? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna chase this. Uh, I'm gonna start chasing it. I gotta take a turn out of my tether. How, how am I doing there? Tether reps. I'm gonna watch out for that cliff. So we just we just modeled all of this with our multi-beam sonar, and uh, I'm coming up still, TJ, right under you. So I'm in, yeah, I'm, I'm out of the box there with the tether. I'm too close to Atalanta under it. We like to be not right under it, so we should be maximum delta there. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna head off and get away. Sorry. What'll happen oh, it'll good. tie itself in a knot. That's a little better there, so I like to be a ten meter we should be a ten meter but we come under Atlanta all the time. It's just you know, that's how since we don't have a TMS we can't pay in and out. Yeah. You have to um, yeah 
come up as you come under with Argus and then come back down and kind of do this business. Yeah, copy that. I'm going to come around the rock here at uh, ludicrous speed and uh, still not recording, Jonathan? Uh, I've already gotten this probably like nine times now, so. You haven't gotten it here, have you? Yeah, yeah, this is where we started, sir. Really? <laughs> Yeah, but you had a foggy camera. Now it's clear. Yeah, that's one of three. So I think we're, I think we're good. I'd, I'd appreciate if we could just uh, run up the mountain. We're running up the mountain, buddy. Where's the mountain? Yeah, good. Could ask Renny that. Yeah, yeah else? Roger yeah. that. Um, he knows where it is. I know where it is. I'm just teasing. Okay, yeah. The Renny, theoretical Renny mountain. Promi Renny south. promised cliffs. We were all there. Uh, Jonathan, I specifically said I'm not promising clips. <laughs> I believe those were my exact <laughs> words. <laughs> I remember saying what I'd, what, what I'd prefer is that we don't have just a muddy bottom. Yeah. <laughs> well, we can move upslope, but I don't know what time kind of timing you want. Or no, I, I, I do think if, uh, <coughs> if we can just raise up the slope, just see if there's anything that's uh, higher contrast is actually what I'm looking for. Uh, uh, what, which way is that, Renny? Roger that. Upslope. Is ahead of uh, west. Yeah. Pretty much ahead of you. Does that Atlanta agree with that? The general upslope will be west. I agree. Atlanta agrees. Atlanta agrees. Would you like to do that, or are you still doing yeah. stuff here? Late speed. Late speed west. Roger that. Go on west. Lighting the afterburners. Thank you. Bridge. Bridge. So now. typically in this case. Uh, you can be a little more conservative. Hello, can we step five zero meters and, bearing west? Uh, Thank you. Typically, if it was more technical or whatever, it would wait till it was out here to move the boat. But since uh, it's pretty benign and I'm a lot more comfortable with the system than I used to be, I can zoom. And besides, but by the time the pendulum kicks in, I can get there. Yeah. Other, the, other west, Dan. Huh? Yeah, I always get those two backwards. <laughs> After all these That's years. All right. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's why you're navigating and I'm flying around in circles. No worries, no worries. Um, where that will where that will get you is when we find something interesting to look at and then we've started moving the vessel. Sure, hope we're not doing that. Um and then so Argus will be moving and run over you or get away from you and you won't be out in front. So wow. we call being out in front having some tether in the bank because of the pendulum effect of Argus, or Atalanta, sorry. We use those interchangeably. Um, it will run you over. You won't get a chance. So you get about, I don't know, 60 seconds or so. And, uh, you can come uh, to your left if you want. TJ, I'm going to come out to the military west. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can come. Uh, you can come right around to uh, look to the west. Two seven zero, I think, is uh, the vessel's. Two six one is the vessel's course over ground. Oh, look at this. There's a mountain coming up. Hey, Jonathan. Yes, sir. So one of the things uh, I want for Christmas is a windshield wiper washer for the camera, because what happens if I land right now? Uh, if you land right now, you will plow several thousands of dollars of camera right into the mud. <laughs> and then what happens? You ever been to a mud bog with an ROV? <laughs> <laughs> I'd point out again, I think that I'd ask Rennie for anything but mud. <laughs> Mud's better than rocks. Yeah, I was going to say, you want rocks instead? <laughs> I, I would. <laughs> well, to run into them. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so it won't be if, but when uh, I stuff both of these cameras in the mud, and you won't be able to see anything. But <laughs> My understanding is that you are such an absolutely fantastic pilot, Dan, that you would never dream of scratching a front element. I wouldn't scratch it. I'm gently going to land here to look at this very interesting sea cucumber. No, we do not care about the sea cucumber. <laughs> I can't Dr. help it if you're a sea cucumber. Dr. Deeds, can you please instruct us not to look at a sea cucumber, <laughs> sir? What do you have uh, against sea cameras cucumbers? Cameras are getting closer to the mud. Yes. Closer, closer. 
You heard the watch leader, sir. What, you don't want to stuff them in the mud? <clears throat> so if I did have to land, uh, I'm just pointing that out as one of the, uh, you know, gotchas there. Hey. No, no, no. It's just a, it's a Nautilus thing that, uh, so in my day job uh, with Ocean Exploration Trust, I'm our media producer and I'm always very patient because out of all the animals that continue to come back in our highlight reels, uh, sea cucumbers are very popular from the science communication fellows that are logging what a highlight is. And I can say definitively after watching thousands and thousands <laughs> of sea cucumber highlight videos, they are not highlights. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what about the shrimp count? Absolutely, shrimp count made it. <laughs> Let's go. I like shrimp, shrimp count. with legs. I like. Uh, what about what about bioturbation? I definitely got to land to get a good zoom in on. No, no. What you do you know, think's in there? <laughs> you know, Jonathan, my uh, my boyfriend is actually um, fishing for sea cucumbers right in you this moment. In so he told there? me there was not enough Freaking sea me cucumbers out when you do that. here, <laughs> and that we yeah. should not dive here because there needs more sea need cucumbers. Have you ever eaten a sea cucumber? I can't see the tether when you're good. I glance um, up there. I what happens, TJ? Like I glance up there, and something is not yeah. right, it's like and it causes me to look there for mm. more than I, uh, two or three have seconds. For and me. that's just enough <laughs> for me to plow the cameras into the mud. We have a target coming up in Atalanta about 80 meters out. <laughs> so All I right, look at that target. So I have a question in the chat of how does someone become part of the Nautilus team? So for myself as a science communication fellow, um, I applied. I actually was taking a deep sea ecology course at the University of Hawaii as a professional development for teaching. And then they told me about it and I was like, that sounds amazing. And I remember I used their videos and footages and here I am now. So I'm, I'm actually not thrusting up here. That's a really bad habit with this system. Sure. But when you see me pulling back on the stick like that, mm -hmm. I'm hey Zach, I just not did a start -stop sea biasing down. Starting at the uh, sea cucumber and films it's them. It's a horrible, horrible habit from where we come from. But <laughs> okay, got it. That's just because I'm too lazy to adjust my Z bias. I'm going up the hill now, yeah. so I, I should, I should uh, bridge. Usually I'll, I'll do this so I don't have to do that. Do you want to try hitting? Uh, we can add one more step, command. five zero meters west. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Jonathan, That's for the record, somebody just said that sea cucumbers are highlight worthy, so I think you're in the minority here. Totally in the minority. <laughs> I, I will I'll continue. Oh, my there. gosh. Look, oh, here's guys, another, sea there's cucumber. another sea cucumber. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. With a shrimp? Yeah, <laughs> with a shrimp? cucumber and a shrimp. Wow. And a fish. Oh, and a fish. I, I feel like I should make this as a hi uh, <laughs> highlight just for you, Jonathan. Send it, send it right back to Actually, what kind of fish is that? Editor, what kind of fish Adibiani is that? To uh, <coughs> really get that sea king. Look at its form. <laughs> it's so eggy. What about this so fish here? If you're uncomfortable on this, um, it, it is, I've been joking about stuffing these in the mud or the rocks, but so certainly hope so, Dan. A good thing to do is I'm a purist and I'm used to flying the system, so I really it really bothers me to have that in the video yeah. at all. But when I first started it, I couldn't operate it without without doing that. Otherwise, I would like I would <laughs> yeah. plow. And the only thing I had was this bubble camera, and they were so frustrated with me. I was just I would have half the porch covered in mud. And shift change was annoyed with me, and Argus pilot was annoyed with me. So, yep. it's a I said, okay, I'll f I'll look down with the uh, with the camera. So, yeah, don't don't feel bad about doing that. That's I can tell you much less embarrassing to have that not clean picture than to to bury the once you get mud on on yeah, it sticks it's and it's game over. Yeah. yeah. But then the problem is, and we asked Dave to zoom in a little for us. Yeah, was that an actual zoom in command? Or yes, please. Okay. It's a zoom in request. Okay, I wasn't. Uh, uh, that's good, you can hold that. Depending on who you got with video, we'll zoom all the way and the, the, uh, you won't be able to hold the, the I usually zoom in about halfway, yeah. park, so that stills can be captured, and then I zoom in for more detail. <coughs> you can ask them to. I don't know what kind of fish it is to answer that question. 
It's a very fluffy, yeah. uh, very decorative. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> you can uh, go wide, please. I'm going to keep running towards the ever. Just to let you know, Jonathan, Atlantis still moving the whole time. Yeah. We're getting closer. These are opportunistic, not not pauses in operation. Look at that wall of death coming up. Yeah. Oh my what goodness. Oh my. Wow. Well, that looks scary. <laughs> so does anyone else want to share a story of how they ended up coming into Nautilus for the first time? I was told I was just coming on a holiday to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> they lied. It's a, it's a trick. Uh, personally for me, uh, I've been RVing for a while and through word of mouth I managed to land a gig here flying the ROV for uh, OET. <laughs> I was a uh, similar path. I worked uh, with the ROV manager on another system that Simon has also worked on and uh, it's a small community and I had some colleagues that I've also worked with, have worked aboard Nautilus, and I heard uh, how, what a great place it was to work, how much fun it was, and how awesome the vehicles were. And so I, I pestered the ROV operations manager for two or three years, and I finally uh, got a slot to come out here, and I've been uh, lucky enough to come back every year since. What are the pros and cons of um, getting into a line of working with ROVs? Uh, the pros for me personally, I was a mechanic for many years uh, in the Royal Air Force before I started ROV. I wanted to diversify into multidisciplinary technical work, so fiber optics, electrics, electronics was always an interest of mine, and ROVs for me was a, a gateway technically into that to broaden uh, my Zach? technical knowledge. And I'm switching over to master uh, from a personal point of view, I did a, a degree yep. as an adult in geology and oceanography so been spent uh, many years trying mm. to get into the science to rov side of things um I uh, stop them up there for a minute what do you think Rene? Uh, yeah can uh, hold here if you want uh, i don't know what do you think it's got 17 meters left in the move uh you should be Better you should visual. be able to reach it by if i stop here yeah uh, visual in the 180s hey zach i'm gonna oh, do yeah. a Roger. soft reboot want me to hold up here then uh, just to get them synced up into NT. Yeah, it's pretty NTP. significant. I, yeah, yeah, I right. don't know. What do you think? Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll hold it. I think Thank we you. should sneak up on it. Bridge, bridge now. What was the mode? Hold again? position. Sorry, Jonathan. Yeah. NT. So you NTP come screaming up to a protocol. wall like that, gotcha. and the layback is not very significant in this shallow water. Yeah. But yeah, if we if we would have kept moving, I would hit the wall and then we'd For stop sure. the ship and then yeah, Atlanta yeah. would swing in and we'd have yeah. to run really high up and that's great if it's not a very big cliff, but yeah. And just we just had a successful reboot. If you could notate that, please. Uh, ship is all stopped there. Roger, perfect. Looks like we're a good distance away for the moment. Yeah, no, we're there. We yeah. are yeah. there. We are five meters away from the wall. Yep. And that wall goes on for a long ways. So what would you like to do, Jonathan? Go up it, down it, left, right? Yeah. Let me, uh, can we just stay here for a second? And I'd like to actually go through all of the different lighting configurations, Dan. So just forwards, just mids, just downs, mids plus down, forward plus down, et cetera. Right. Okay, I'm going to move. Um, and Zach, if you could record. Yep, thank you, sir. So yep, we have gotcha. this cool feature uh, called Auto XY. How are you mm -hmm. with the uh, DVL homeness? You happy? Uh, give me one sec. Roger. So when he homes the DVL. Okay, yeah. ready f ready for using yeah. it. You're so all good. Roger. Station yeah. keep. Yeah. yeah, station keep. So to do that, uh, you just you so can you click Auto XY here. Jonathan, which camera or here. are coming on and off? Did Bob tell you about the bugs yeah. in this okay, system? Yeah, sir. The button button. button. Oh, the button button? <laughs> yeah, I noticed No, that. there's the <coughs> auto out, auto depth bug. My, uh, yeah. by so if I, I for example, out. go, I'm in auto out right now. If I go I'm directly to auto depth. Change my settings back to 4K. Uh, okay. 
Uh, let's see. If I go out of auto, out. The thrusters go 100% the opposite way. If I go oh, okay. out of auto depth then the auto out, they go 100% the other way. So you got to double tap it if you change modes. Right. That's okay. So we call it the double tap bug. Double tap. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, same as same as foreign vehicles and shillings with the station keep, right? Yeah. So yeah. the station keep, uh, you got to. This is your velocity. Yep. And your uh, step size. Step size. Yeah. Right. Sorry, Jonathan. I uh, was uh, showing Simon the uh, double tap bug here. I'm going to come back down and uh, I'm going to wait. Oh, uh, yeah, you can uh, zoom take it. five. Let me, uh, I'm just messing with some things before we get started here. I do. If you want to keep training. Oh, uh, I was just yapping away. Hello, sir. How far away do you from yeah, the... Yeah, correct. I'm just uh, messing with some settings right now on the reboot. I actually had it go reset some settings I wasn't expecting, so I'm just trying to replicate that problem before we move on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's pretty good. That's what it was. So if I saw that right, Jonathan, okay. you're setting it back to 1080p resolution. I've switched them back to full 6K resolution. 6K. Can I zoom in on the uh, colony there, Dave? While we're waiting. It's like brachiopods and... Is that a closed an enemy in the upper right? Or something like that. Unlike the shilling Looks vehicle, similar. you... You don't want to. Uh, Some blobbis. You don't want to try and move in auto X Y with the stick. Yep. There's a bug. It'll increment that forever, and you get. Oh, well, you'll figure that out. So, most of the autos with this vehicle, I take the auto out when I want to move, and then yeah. click it back in. It's like a lot of vehicles that are. <clears throat> yeah, when I'm static, you can Cyclops do that. I just lost the capacity to see. Cameras. Thanks for letting me know. Do we have, are these uh, yeah. type of muscles we have here? Or? So brachiopods. Bivalve, yeah. I believe they're brachiopods. I could be corrected. I'll probably get those a little highlight. Okay, has anyone ever eaten mussels? <laughs> really, my, my down camera is all blown out there. Still happening, so it's an OBS problem. Yeah, it's a hard crash. Oh, uh, Dave, could you please switch something else from feed three, sat feed three, sir, while I troubleshoot? What's up, TJ? Roger. Thank you, sir. I don't know. Uh, so this sonar wasn't working when I sat down. You got to crank the. Um, <coughs> you got to crank. Yeah, Dan. Uh, kind of collecting some good data for. Uh, we're gonna have to move forward on the NDI project for sure. It's really isn't a sustainable solution. Roger. I had to crank the whatever this one is way down for some reason Whoa. to get an image there. Yes. Yep. I copy. And yeah, I won't talk about Oh, that's a request for Dan there. Hey, Dan. Yeah, sorry. I have a request for um, uh, Bob in the lounge to zoom in there on the clams, please. Roger. Go ahead, Dave. Fill your boots.
Uh, if I would like a sciency shot, I can uh, touch the cliff there and get a super zoom. Yeah. 